little car to go and visit a few of the highlights of Gran Canaria. There's sand dunes down in the south, Mas Palomas, and there's apparently a big crater and some impressive rocks in the middle. So, quite excited about this. Another little break from Atlantic preparations. Fire. Mum said it's a couple of weeks ago. Probably, yeah, within a couple of weeks. Very it smells very recent. Like four weeks? Maybe two. doing here is buying 10,000 kilojoules of food per person for the ditch bag which the ark requires so we're actually going for the highest energy 2,300 kilojoules per 100 grams in this one it's kind of the opposite to how a lot of people shop we found this is the highest <laughs> the highest energy hazelnut chocolate and we get basically five of these per person plus some other little we've got some dates and crackers and other things like that exactly that's a, a lot of chocolate right that's enough In the nature reserve that makes up nearly half of, of Gran Canaria and apparently a lot of the plants and animals here are found nowhere else in the world which is a feature common to many islands, isolated islands in the world. This is an almond tree and all these pods are almonds, these shells. Not surprisingly next to a car park, <laughs> all the ones down at this level have disappeared and they're up there. I love this landscape. I didn't expect miles and miles of, of this rocky, rugged, mountainous country. I thought it might just be the two isolated rocks. So the, the rock we just visited is quite famous. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really lapping this up, this different landscape before we just see nothing but ocean for a while. Next stop is Mas Palomas, which are sand dunes right on the south of the island.
Francesca.